Hello and welcome back. Now in this video we're going to be talking about the sales funnel overview which we have discussed in previous overview videos and we want to answer the question if there are any limitations and we want to talk a little bit about pricing, pricing in general. You might be thinking maybe I can raise my price uh, 10 times over and maybe I can make even more, generate even more income and you want to kind of get a sense for how these offers tend to work and want to give you some parameters to work with. Also, you might get some ideas about, well, how many off upsells can I offer? Maybe I can offer four upsells or five upsells. If, if three uh, generate uh, a significant amount more, maybe if I do more, I can make even more with, with upsells. So let's talk about some of those parameters in this video. Now, in terms of pricing, you want to consider where you are in the marketplace. When your product is being offered in a in a marketplace like the Warrior Forum, where there are other uh, where there are other buyers, where there are other product sellers, and the market tends to be at a certain price, you want to be right in that price range. You don't necessarily want to be too high above the average price or too uh, far below the average price. You want to be right in there, especially when you're first getting started. A lot really depends on where your your buyer is going to see this offer the first time. If they're seeing it from an affiliate that tends to sell higher price products, higher ticket products, they want to have your price at a higher ticket. But if you are if the affiliates you're working with, they probably sell lower end products, you want to probably be right in that area so that you can generate income and they can too on a particular product launch. Now, in general, you want to keep your front end right around 17 to 37 dollars and you don't want to go too low you might think well if i offer this product at nine dollars right which is where you've probably seen a number of products available for internet marketing or internet marketers in other niches if you do that you are not necessarily giving your giving your affiliates the opportunity to profit significantly and typically an affiliate likes to see the opportunity to earn that much on a particular sale of course there are ways to do that you can give a hundred percent of your profit to the or hundred percent of the commission to the affiliate but basically you want to keep that front-end offer between 17 and 37 dollars it gives your affiliates the opportunity to, 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 to earn on a sale and it also gives you the opportunity to earn on that sale also now that first upsell, you want to keep that right at around $97. You can go as low as 40 and if you're going to be on the lower end for your front end offer, well you can go down to 40 but, but typically that first upsell, you want to have that right around the $97 level and you want to give your buyer the opportunity to, uh, to, to have additional, you know, additional resources. You want to give them, you want to maximize their resources, giving them the opportunity to take your product and really have everything there is available. So you want to expand their resources in that first upsell. Now, in the second upsell, you typically want to give them the opportunity to participate in some kind of community or to get some continual help, to get some continual support. And that tends to fall in the area of a membership where you are providing value on a continual basis. Whether that, that value is additional content, additional training, um, additional, uh, additional resources, interviews, all of those things, they're going to come to your buyer on a monthly basis. You want to keep that in the range of $20 to $37 a month. Now, this is different from the first upsell because this offer, right, this second offer really gives you the opportunity to, to generate what's called continuity income. In other words, this is income that every time your buyer buys, every buyer that, that actually decides to take you up on this offer, well, they're going to be providing you income on a continual basis every single month. This is a great way to generate income over and over and over again from your initial front end sale. Now, now this third offer is actually going to be what's called a high ticket offer. Typically, you're going to give your buyer the opportunity to move faster to be able to get a head start and they're typically willing to people who are serious about their business are willing 
to invest in being able to get started faster because they know they're going to put this in place. They're going to actually get that amount, amount back because they're getting started quickly. They know that if they commit that amount, they're probably going to actually do what they've actually what they've actually purchased in the actual product and that's really across any niche that's in the make money online niche that's in the weight loss niche that's in just about any popular niche where information products are sold giving people the opportunity to 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 pay more significantly more in order to commit themselves and to get better and faster results in that third upsell so your buyer has now seen four upsells, and if they've seen actually four four different offers, they've seen three upsells and four offers. Now that means that you could make in this scenario could make between seventy seven dollars and six hundred sixty eight per customer, depending on where your pricing is. Now that's significant when you think about it because your pricing actually gives your your pricing really moves your buyer through your marketing funnel and gives them the opportunity once again to uh, get the extreme value out of the entire purchase you've created a system for them to 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 purchase your product but also to use it and to get started with it quickly now in terms of the limitations you probably should not go beyond three upsells testing indicates that a fourth upsell tends to be a little too much you probably ought not try a fourth upsell there are marketers who have tried it and you might feel uh, you might feel in inclined to give it a try but most testing indicates that a fourth upsell is probably going beyond what a customer is willing to endure and one that you don't want to make him or her upset when they first make their purchase you want to keep them happy because of course you want to be able to market to them continually you want to be able to market them to them over and over again now for some markets three upsells are too many and you really need to understand your market you really want to understand your marketplace and what it is that your buyers your prospects will tolerate and what they feel is good value for what it is that they are going to purchase so this is a case where you really want to determine what's happening in the marketplace now this might mean that you might want to get on a couple of mailing lists that means that you might want to if possible you know if you might get review copies of other products you really do want to know what's happening and what buyers are actually doing that doesn't mean that it's going to stop you from doing what you would what you feel is uh, is good for your business you do want to find out what the marketplace is doing and structure your offer or offers accordingly so with that thanks and I will see you in the next video